As we grow older, our brains change and we may notice occasional changes in how we remember. This video has been developed to help you think about what you might consider if this is a concern for you or for a family member. In Northumberland, our GP practices are very keen for people to raise concerns and ask for help. We also have a memory service which is dedicated to investigating the various causes of memory difficulties. If investigations lead to a diagnosis, in Northumberland we have a multi-agency post-diagnostic service which is dedicated to providing information, advice, support and connection with other people who are experiencing similar difficulties. We hope this provides you with some useful introductions to some services that may be able to provide support for you. So when a person is referred to the Northumberland Memory Service, we undertake a full, comprehensive, holistic assessment. What that would entail is asking a series of questions, both to the person who's presenting with the memory problems and also speaking to their loved ones. So following on from that holistic assessment, we also refer on for a series of other investigations to rule out any other possible causes for the memory impairment. Depending on the outcome of the memory assessment process, we're then able to determine whether a diagnosis is made and then we can set up a care plan for that person. GP did the tests and um, Joe failed them, all of them. And what he said was, you need to have some scans, we need to send it to the memory clinic. When the consultant phoned and said that Joe had frontotemporal dementia with Alzheimer's, and did I have any questions? And I was at a loss, I was kind of all at sea. I didn't know what to think, where to go. I didn't know what help would be available. I had no idea just how my life was going to change. I'm pleased I had the diagnosis because then I could actually hang my hat on something. When my son took some advice from the doctor, he said definitely I would need to see if your dad, but he said he would have to come on his own uh, free will, you know, you couldn't force him to come, but when we spoke to Harry about it, he was more than happy to go. Um, I don't think he realised at that stage he had memory problems, but like Jim, it's just gone over his head. Um, and as I say, we went and we spoke to the doctor for about two hours and um, he was very good and he asked all sorts of questions about money, food, uh, routines, and it opened my eyes to realise how little Harry did know about what was going on in the, the world we were living in and um, as a result the doctor said you know there's definitely issues with your memory we need to perhaps go a little bit further so he organised for a nurse to carry out an assessment and for a CT scan and when the CT scan came back he said to me um, we think it's vascular dementia and Alzheimer's so he said we're going down the route of mixed dementia she didn't understand where we were going, but she went with me and I just said it was to help her. And of course, they diagnosed dementia. She said, she, she said, when I said, she said, no, but now she'll say, but I'm not that bad, I'm a, I know you. And I'll say, yeah, you're not that bad, man. You know me and you're very clever and you remember a lot of things. And I'll say, we did lots of things when you were diagnosed to help you and um, jigsaw puzzles and you know we couldn't go out because it was COVID so that was difficult because meeting people helps um, yeah. but you know we do uh, Sudoku puzzles and crossword puzzles and we watched Countdown, Mum's good at things like this so I did what I thought was right but it wasn't until I registered as a carer when COVID got a bit easier that I got real help which was meeting people other people like me the biggest step is to make that phone call yeah because then you realize that your life is changing and things aren't ever going to be the same again but once you make that phone call everyone is so friendly and just so helpful um, you know, you shouldn't be afraid to make that phone call at all. I mean, I was apprehensive about doing it at first, but yeah. then it was it was fine. It was great. Yeah.